Hello everyone and welcome back to Tiani Travels. In this video we are in Phnom Penh in Cambodia. It's actually the capital of the country. So we are going to show you what there is to do here and what we thought about it. So let's get into it. Traveled from Kampot to Phnom Penh by bus and it was a relatively easy and comfortable ride which was nice. Uh, we hadn't heard any tourists saying good things about Phnom Penh so we weren't really sure what to expect but we were hoping it was going to be quite nice as we had four days to spend here. I thought the city itself was quite normal and there was nothing too special about it. Um, but there are some interesting activities that you can do here so that was good. However, I do think that Brett enjoyed it more than I did. The city itself is really easy to navigate and we ended up getting grab taxis most of the time. You can get tuk-tuks off the street but I prefer not to negotiate so grab taxi is, a, is an easier option for us. Our first plan was to visit the Grand Palace and we arrived there at about 11.30 but we didn't realise that it was only open from 9 until 12 and 2 until 5 so we decided there wasn't enough time to see it properly then. Because of this, we decided to go to the nearby National Museum and the tickets cost $10 each, which is about £8. And the, the building and the surrounding grounds of the museum were really beautiful, but the inside was kind of boring. There were lots of artifacts and um, old statues, but not a whole lot of information about the artifacts. So we were kind of just walking around like, oh, that's nice, that's nice. But we didn't really spend too long there. We spent most of our time sat in the little cafe at the museum trying to decide what to do for the rest of the day before we went back to the Grand Palace and Brett was trying out this uh, winter melon drink and I didn't really like it but he seemed to enjoy it. Tastes like biscuits. We ended up deciding to go to the Tall Slang Genocide Museum, also known as the S21 Prison. Um, but I'm going to talk about that a little bit later on in the video when we also go to the Killing Fields. Eventually we made it to the Royal Palace again and tickets cost $10 to enter um, and we definitely think it was worthwhile. I really enjoyed it. It's such a beautiful place. Uh, the buildings are just gorgeous and the Cambodian royal family still lives here so we had to wear masks when we were there but super beautiful and highly recommend. When we visited it was crazy hot so we had an umbrella with us and you should definitely take one too because you're going to need it, there's not really much shade here. But we really liked it because it was so quiet and uh, just a, a really nice place to spend an hour or two. to visit the central market and now I wouldn't say this is like a must-see activity for Phnom Penh but it was quite interesting walking around looking at all of the stalls and I did get a five dollar haircut here which is probably one of the best haircuts I've had in years so <laughs> yeah try that out. So the most important places I think you should visit while you're in Phnom Penh are the S21 Genocide Museum and the Killing Fields. Now I don't really have the words to describe these places, um, but I think they're really worthwhile visiting in order to understand in more depth the recent history of Cambodia and the reign of the Khmer Rouge. The Killing Fields are a 30 minute drive away from the centre of the city, so we organised a, a tuk-tuk to drive us from our hotel and the price of both museums cost $10 each and they both include an audio guide. 
I obviously didn't take a lot of footage in these places, but I think it's really important to share the message of what happened here. And on the audio guides, they do say at the end that they want people to spread awareness of these events so that they don't happen again in the future. After seeing these places and hearing accounts from survivors, we were really lost for words, honestly. It was so hard to listen to, parts of it I didn't even go into. Um, luckily, the audio tours warn you if, if something is about to be graphic or it might not be suitable for some listeners, so you can just skip that track and move on to the next thing, which I thought was um, a really good thing to do. But yeah, you can, you can choose what you want to see and what you want to listen to. So that is it for our stay in Phnom Penh and our month-long trip in Cambodia. Our time in the capital was emotional, difficult at times, but very eye-opening and valuable to us. This country is one of our favourites and the people here are so friendly and kind. I think we spent four days in Phnom Penh, but you could easily see all of the most important things in one or two days. Thank you all so much for watching. Make sure to like and subscribe if you enjoyed the video and we'll see you next time.